So we have found in the last few months since his departure from that office, copious amounts of 7.62, a type of ammunition that the police and the defense force and many countries of the world under the umbrella of the United Nations have banned because of their inherent damaging character. Not even our soldiers use them. We have been finding a lot of that kind of ammunition. And we are aware that a lot of that was allowed to be imported in the madness that took place for the last few years. This again shows what a liar the Minister of National Security is. The United Nations cannot put a ban on any military in the world as it pertains to that. The United Nations, that is not their involvement. So his stupid claim is that the United Nations has put a ban on 556, which can really arguably kill one person. But they didn't put a ban on hand grenades, rocket launchers, and other type of missiles that can kill dozens of persons. It shows how stupid this man is. Almost every single army in the world still use 556. 556 is the main ammunition used in the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force still. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, that is what they use. Also 762. I did an audit for the police service just before I left. And there are millions of wrongs of 556 and 762 in the police service. He is a blatant liar. And if it is there's so much concern about this type of ammunition coming into the country, why is it that the government just approved $12 million to bring in the same type of ammunition for the defense force and the police in the last fiscal year? It was because to facilitate the requests and the demands of the defense force and the police to ensure that the country can be protected to fight criminal elements and to ensure there will never be a repeat of 1990. And to show how clueless the Minister of National Security is, for the last five decades, 762 wrongs have been imported because of the individuals who are involved in competitive shoots. He does not even know that. But if you listen carefully to Fitzgerald Hines, it shows again he seems to be sympathetic of the type of wrongs that could be used for our law enforcement agencies to fight off criminal elements. So he wants to make sure that it shouldn't be something that should damage them too badly. It says a lot about Fitzgerald Hines.